The Acuma is a small group's dream base fitted with bunkers, wide gaps, open core, bedrooms, funnel wall, and more. A true example of modern architecture. To start, I'm still using the Mr. Stories disconnectable and I will continue to use these until they are patched. Builder Sanctuary is having a glitch where the stability is all messed up, but normally placing this ramp is going to break the triangle frames disconnecting the TC. The doors in the gatehouses swing inwards. This creates an airlock not allowing players to walk in if both doors are remained open. The entrance to the base is through the funnel wall. The funnel wall's goal is to be able to kill any players trying to get through if the door is left open, or if someone is unlucky enough to fall in the funnel wall, they will be killed. Drop boxes are placed around the inner shell just to allow you to quickly deposit any loot to get you quickly back out into the fight. Up the jump up, there's a peek into the chute, be able to clear out any raiders. Walking into the open core, we have plenty of boxes, we got beds, work benches, everything you might need in your open core. To get into the main core, just walk up through this jump up. The TC is placed behind a vending machine. To loot it, just loot it from the side. This forces any player to have to destroy the vending machine to rate your TC. Back up here to the jump up, you're going to be led right into the shooting floor. We also have our bunkers and additional bedrooms. Conditionals are usually here to block it out, but when doing this tutorial, it loaded funny and didn't work. The shooting floor is very strong because the base doesn't really have any blind spots, allowing you to kill anyone if they're hiding up against your walls. Also is very helpful with the crouch meta. If you climb up the ramps and look behind you, there's a peak onto the roof that allow you to kill anyone that lands on your roof. Going up to the roof, you'll see that you're going to have another peak onto the roof a vending machine to allow you to sell some items, and a much more peaks on the roof. Just before we get into the tutorial, just a quick word for today's sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a completely free mobile game that brings console level game design to your mobile device. Raid has completely taken the mobile gaming industry by storm, with already having over 80 million downloads from people all over the world. Raid has over 650 unique champions, with my personal favorites being Cupidus, Rhodus the Lost Groom, and Astralon because of their knight style designs. Personally, my favorite part about Raid is the new updates that we release every single month to keep the game fresh and with there always being something to do. This month, you can enjoy a Valentine's themed world of Raid. New players can enjoy a special Valentine's Day themed adventure with the Raid Love Quest. To get involved, download Raid Shadow Legends from the links below, copy your in game player ID, and then head over to raidlovequest.plarium.com. Play one of the Valentine's themed minigames for a chance to win some amazing in game and real life prizes, including Valentine's Day themed Raid Champions and even Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. If you're an experienced raid player, you can still share the love too. Use a special promo code Saint Valentine's Day 23 that everyone can use to get a small Valentine's gift. With all this exciting stuff and more coming to raid, if you haven't started playing yet, then what are you waiting for? 
Use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses. We are talking an epic champion, Kellen the Shrike, and other useful things like energy refills, magic potions, and XP brews. Once you're in and crushing your enemies, come find me under the name Shamu. And if you're fast enough, you can join my clan. Oh, and don't forget to claim your exclusive rewards if you're an Amazon Prime member. So just hit my link in the description and I'll see you on the battlefield. Thank you, Rage, for sponsoring this video. Now onto the video. Alright, to start off our build, we're just going to secure our base location with a simple starter. Everything I place will be upgraded to its final grade. Just upgrade everything accordingly and then you can do so. Leave that roof wood so you can pick it out later on. TC goes in this corner, place a door frame right in front of it. You can put a single sheet metal door in front of it for the time being, but it'll eventually be replaced with a vending machine. Place a four box lit room right back here. And seal it off with a door. Eventually you're going to want to place this double door with a garage door, but just do it when you can. To extend off our starter, we're going to place two square foundations here and build a four box room into this corner. Place ramps back here so if they read through the back wall, they also have to break the ramps. Place a door right here and wall yourself in. Place three triangle foundations here, upgrade them. Place a square out, this is going to be where your jump up is going to be to the second floor. Furnaces can be placed in this corner, which will be secured by a window. This is where your jump up's gonna be. Place four frames to help stability. Now wall it all in with the door. You can also pick out the wood on this side now and take it into his own jump up. Get up to the second floor, just place a wooden foundation right here with a half wall on top of it. And pick this out later on. To start off with the build of the shell, we're just going to build the funnel wall part first. These three foundations are going to be built out into the funnel wall. Build the foundation here, but then raise the one in the middle. Honeycomb this square right here. This is going to be the other side of the funnel wall. You're going to need to connect this if you don't want it to decay, so just do what I do here. If not, you might just lose what you just built. These are going to be your exterior peaks out into your compound. 
This part is very important to make sure that it doesn't decay. Place the doors in the same orientation that I do for the best possible peaks. Only place an embrasure on the top one because the one in the left and right will block your vision completely. And they come in the top part as well. This section is going to be part of the shell. Place the traps like I do. This is going to show you the best possible way and make it so the funnel wall actually works and kill them if they walk in. Always make sure the door swings open and doesn't swing in. Now we're going to do everything we just did, but on the other side. To start this part off, we're going to build that with nine squares and then build back the triangles. This is going to create a wall stack. Now we're going to build the outside of the shell. We need to build the wide gaps and externals to make sure that this part of the shell doesn't decay because it's not actually connected to the main TC.
make sure you place these two low walls or the disconnectable will not work. Building floor frames here is necessary because we need to connect this part of the shell to the TC that you just built. Like we did before, same thing on the other side. On this side you can build gates, fortunately you don't have to build an external though because it'll be connected to the main TC. Moving on to the open core, it is important that you place everything exactly how I place it in the exact same orientation because everything is placed in that race for a reason. To place this ramp, you're going to need to break the boxes underneath it, and you can replace them right afterwards. Make sure you place the door frames in before you place the furnaces. The furnace placement can be quite tricky, so try not to get frustrated. Thank <laughs> you. 
Make sure the hard side of the wall is pointing inwards on both sides. Make sure that this creates a conditional to block the gap in between the walls. Up here is where you're going to place your locker and bedrooms. Make sure the square you place the ramp on is going to be the opposite side of the jump up. Finally, we're going to build up the honeycombs on all sides. Now we're going to start construction on the shooting floor alongside with the bunkers. Placing this turret here will shoot through the ramps, killing anyone that may be roaming around in your open core. <laughs> 
make sure that for the bunker, all walls are placed in the same orientation that I have them placed, again to create conditional so they cannot be looted or destroyed through the wall. technique to get the fitment right is to open, keep the bunker open and then place all of your walls and roofs and just make sure that it doesn't shut. If it does, place it in the other spot. Finally, build on the roof. This is how I normally set up the interior for this base on this floor. You're welcome to do the same. Now we're going to build up the wide gap peaks. As per usual, I don't normally talk during this part because it's pretty self-explanatory. I apologize for the quality of the video. I did it very last minute and I have a flight in six hours. Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 